fans, Ryan Aho here bringing you an episode of the BuyRacers.com One to Go Show Late Model Power Rankings. Now, first, a little shout out to our friends over at SNS Transport. Um, of course, Brad and Brian Sang and the crew in Grand Forks, a, a great trucking company. They haul all over. If, if you're looking to get into the trucking industry, give them a call. They're always looking for new drivers, well, experienced drivers, especially. I think they have a training platform as well. Check out SNS Transport. Transport. My goodness, guys. All right, little shout out here before we jump into the power rankings. Uh, rookie Jason Good, second win of the year early in the season. Looking pretty sporty in that late model. Got a win over at Monty, holding off Jordan Tollickson. And then uh, didn't take long for old veteran Ashley Anderson, who the last few years, of course, in a modified. Let's not forget, he won a bunch of races in the late model as well. Did not take him long to figure out where Victory Lane is at the Red Cedar Speedway. He's been there a time or two. Tip of the cap to both of those drivers. Now, let's get into the BuyRayShirts.com power rankings for the late models here. Little shout out, BuyRayShirts.com. If you need shirts, hats, hoodies, any type of apparel, give Jordan and the, and the crew, give them a look. Jump online, BuyRayShirts.com. They got a lot of different options, a lot of different pricing, different quantities. They do a great job for racers, by racers. That's BuyRayShirts.com. Now, at number 10, Brad Sang. I know Homer Pick, right? I got SNS Transports on the show. Got Brad Sang in the top 10, but let's face it. There's a, there's a question mark up in NLRA country. Who's going to be the guy? Who's it going to be? Of course, the NLRA champion the last two years running, Mike Gressep, not quite off to a fast start, right? Edging 10 a little up and down. Brad saying, it's what have you done for me lately? And what he's done for me lately is the second at Grand Forks with the Outlaws. Of course, the World of Outlaws friends were there. NLRA was there. He got second behind Lance Hill. Then he, <coughs> then he went down and won the King of Dirt at the I-94 Speedway. Brad Sang at number 10. At number nine, Danny Vang. Two wins on the year. Started out really hot, really hot, uh, but kind of cooled down. A little bit of bad luck in there, but the eye test. The eye test tells me double-digit wins this year for the 47. Clean, fun to watch. He's always there. Travels a lot, races a bunch. Danny Vang at number nine. At number eight, the MB Customs 28. Nope, not Dustin Sorensen, Sam Mars. I think this kid is in, he's improving incredibly smooth. He looks better and better every time he's on the racetrack. I'm going to give him the nod over the other 28. It is what it is. Dustin Sorensen, hell of a race car driver. Sam Mars has been a little bit better thus far. Um, he did drive away from the 44 to win another special at the Race Lake Speedway, the Trackside Collectibles 40. That was an impressive win off the front row. Daryl started there with them, had to get it done. So Sam Mar is at number eight. At number seven, Derek Vessel. Derek Vessel, hitting driver, silky smooth, kind of a modern day John Cantor, right? Um, not really up on the wheel, not, not a slide jobber, not banging. He's just smooth, steady, always in the conversation. His worst finish this year, fourth place, right? Five shows, he's got a win, hasn't finished out of the top four point average. Has to pack, pass his way up there. Derek Vessel, when, when the special events come around, especially in that area, he's always there. Might not always win, but he's usually right around that podium. Derek Vessel at number seven. At number six, A.J. Demo. If you go off talent alone, he's num probably number one. Can't go off talent on, alone, right? He only races like once a decade. I'm not really sure you know, what the deal is with this guy. But my goodness, if he unloads, he's a threat to win. It don't matter if he takes a month off, he unloads, he's a threat to win, period. That's what he does. The fact is, the fact that he doesn't unload very often, that keeps him just outside the top five at number six. At number five, the Hermantown Hammer, Daryl Nelson. Four specials, four podiums, okay? Add in a, a tenth to second at Cedar Lake. He actually was all over Pat Doerr. He's a top five guy all day long. Being winless keeps him out of the top four, right? But he's on the podium every night. Four specials, four podiums. You can't ask for much more. If they didn't have the throwaway show right in the challenge series, he'd be your point leader right now with a second and a third. Daryl Nelson at number five. Also a little shout out. Missy Nelson, um, Daryl's wife, uh, had, uh, had an incident with the trailer and 
don't know all the details, but she got hurt, needs, needs a few surgeries, thoughts and prayers and best wishes on a speedy recovery to Missy Nelson. At number four, your reigning was Soda Late Model National Champion, Chad Becker. Six wins on the year. Maybe a lack of respect here. Maybe he could be a little higher. I'm not sure. He did win two tri-state wins this weekend. We'll talk about one of them in just a minute, right? He won it here on an Aberdeen. Chad Becker is always in the conversation. He's there every single night. He's in the hunt for the win. So he's at number four. At number three, Nick Anvil. <clears throat> not sure how to factor this guy in. He just does not get to race against this group of drivers very often. Now, two wins on the year. Should be three, right? Should be three. Oh, no, that's that's not right. That's, that's the next guy. My bad. Um, this guy here raced against Demo twice. That's where I was going. Started row five and row six, respectively. In uh, He started back fifth, sixth row at, at uh, the Tom Stiding Memorial. Of course, Demo went in that. He tracked down Demo from like half a straightaway or better, got two of them, but getting two of them, get by, getting by him, completely different thing. Then at Seymour, he started 10th there at the Dirt Kings race. And drove by Demo. Demo started, I think, row two, drove by him, got second in that one from, I think, from 10th or whatever. So Nick Anvilink, uh, probably your odds-on favorite to win the Dirt Kings title. Going to put him at number three. <clears throat> at number two, Cole Searing. Two wins on the year, probably should be three, okay? Um, turns out he didn't get anything for Chad Becker for Christmas last year. So he gave him his gift in Aberdeen this past Friday. That one stung a little bit. Had the lead in a uh, little tight, got you know, turning himself around. And here's what champions do. They rebound. What did he do? He come back out the next night, and he took home $7,300 to win the finale of the week at Huron. And uh, that's, why he's, that's why he's in the top two, right? You have a bad night, shake it off, come back out, focus, you win. That's what he did. Cole Searing's a hell of a race car driver. I just don't know that I put him above the next guy. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute, but Cole Searing at number two. Now we're going to bring you number one. Actually, Dirt Race Central is going to bring you number one. Dirt Race Central, the official streaming platform of Wasota Auto Racing and of the One to Go show. If you're, a, if you're a race fan in this area, right, get yourself a subscription. Do yourself a favor. You can, you can pay-per-view and watch them live. You can get a subscription and watch them anytime you want. They have an unbelievable um, on-demand uh, um, catalog there with all the races. I mean, it's unbelievable how many races that they do in a given year, and they do a great job. Make sure to check them out. At number one, the Double One Express, Pat Door. Three wins in six races, right? Uh, he won at Cedar Lake this week. He won at Menominee. He won a Challenge Series race at Ogilvy. Here's the deal. He's always fast. It's Pat Door. It is, it's what he does. That car turns so good. That thing is unbelievable. Just set a track record at uh, Gondekloss Speedway. Come from last to first in the heat. It was sticky, smooth, and he was just, I mean, bolted. I'm telling you what, he's been fast the past couple of years, but something tells me that he looks even faster this year than he has, and that's big trouble for everyone else. Now, with that said, <clears throat> super excited because this week, Challenge Series has a Western swing. A lot of common ground. I think uh, there's going to be several drivers that maybe were on this list at those events. Thursday night, KRA Speedway in Wilmer. Friday, the Fiesta City Speedway in Montevideo. Saturday, Madison Speedway, one of my favorite tracks. And Sunday, the Casino Speedway in Watertown. Watertown, it's going to be tough to beat themselves, Dakota boys in Watertown. But those other three tracks, kind of wide open because it's kind of common ground for most of them going to be fun to see what Pat Dorn, Daryl Nelson, Searing, Becker, Tollickson, I mean, some of these other drivers, going to be fun to see how that all works out over this coming weekend. But for now, the number one driver, Pat Dorn.